you get the source code uh, by the way right now it is uploading when it is uh, uploaded completely i will send you the link of this folder okay when you get the link just click it you will you will see this interface okay so what you need to do you need to just select all just you need to select all and download okay after downloading after click download it will download as a zip file so what you need to do you need to unzip it any of the folder like this any of the folder um, suppose in d folder you uh, paste it and unzip it so it will uh, download as a folder okay like this okay so what you need to do next go to your android studio go to your android studio then go to the file go to the file and click open after click the open it will show as like this okay in folder it will show as like this in app app format in app format when you see in app format just click on that button and select okay click on the app and select okay it will it will load then it will load and it will take some time to sync the gradle also you will get some kind of notification like uh, uh, vcs root is not matching so ignore that kind of thing also it will show one error message that uh, sdk file is changed because my java sdk part is different and your java sdk part is different so what you need to do just click the ok it will automatically set your java sdk part then it will again sync and you need to wait for the gradle sync after gradle sync what you need to do you will see here in app app you just need to click here in app you need to connect your device here you need to connect your device here and just play the button just hit the play button okay you need to run the app after running the app after uh, doctor registration what you need to do when a doctor uh, would register here uh, doctor data will be stored stored in here in doctor database in doctor database this is an id doctor id and this is doctor database in doctor id what you need to do you need to keep checking as a admin you need to keep check on the database okay you need to see uh, whether any kind of doc doctor is uh, registered here or not if an uh, if new doctor is registered here data will be stored below that id there will be another id you need to just click here below there will be a uh, key pending uh, initially when doctor is registered here pending is false as a admin what you need to do you need to just click here and make it true you need to write through and click enter when you click enter their uh, profile will be registered automatically and when uh, doctor again login into their uh, account uh, he will uh, see the his profile he will he or she will see his profile uh, their active appointment pending <laughs> appointment chat etc he can uh, see but for patient you don't need to do any kind of pending because as you see here patient section there is no pending key so but uh, just only because for doctor you need to you need to uh, you, you need to through the pending key okay that thing you need to do as a admin otherwise you don't need to do anything in database okay this is the uh, whole thing that you need to understand about this project okay uh, if you find any kind of error you just ping me